In this video, I'm going to talk about how to create labels in CoinManage, and I'm also going to discuss uh, barcodes. Um, for example, let's say we want to make a barcode of the catalog number. We can do that using the report designer. Now, keep in mind this is an advanced topic. If you're not a, uh, if you're not comfortable with uh, working in the report designer, this may not be. Uh, the type of video you want to watch at this point. Uh, anyway, so let me just go ahead and proceed. Uh, so what I'm going to do is create a new label. And to do that, under the reporting menu, I select reporting, create labels, and this starts up uh, a, a label wizard. Click on the next button, and it's going to ask me, um, the report designer is going to use uh, the label printer attached to your computer and you may have you, have you may have multiple printers attached to your computer if so you just click select and I've got a brother QL570 printer which is a nice printer under $100 if you're in the market for a printer that's uh, one of the more popular ones so let me go ahead and select that click next now here it's going to show me all the label formats uh, where it has predefined values and it needs the horizontal distance, the size horizontally and vertically of the label and in er pretty much every case when you're using a label printer the horizontal number is going to be 1 and the vertical is going to be 1. So what I'm going to do is just select a, I'll just select a label and assume that I'm using that one, Dymo multipurpose. Now, if you don't see your labels that you've created in, this, in your list, you can you, you can uh, select user to find it. And in that case, you're going to have to find out the size horizontally, horizontally and vertically, and the distance from the top left to the beginning of the label. And that's usually defined uh, in the box where you uh, have the labels, or you can easily find it on the internet. So, but just to make this easy, I'm just going to select. Um, let me just go ahead and select this one here next. Now you can go ahead and change the parameters if you need to. Click OK. As, like I said before, in most cases, the horizontal, if you're using a barcode label printer, uh, it's going to be one horizontal, one vertical. Add title line. In this case, I'll go ahead and just say yes. Click done. Now it's going to um, create the label with uh, a couple of default fields. In most cases, you're just going to delete this information here. Going to delete this uh, text field, delete this little separator, and you got the title field here. Now, what, not, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this so that it shows the coin title, and the coin title is a new. Uh, reporting field we've added actually uh, if you don't see it if it doesn't uh, come up as valid you just and you're using coin manage 2019 just go ahead and select help check for updates from the main menu and you'll get the latest version which has this reporting field designed so I've gone ahead and typed in coin title and for some reason it usually shows up as a very small font until you change it so I'm going to select Arial regular make it bigger size 12 Click OK. And one thing to note about a, a label printer is in almost every case it's going to present, it's going to print the labels out in a 90 degree orientation. Okay, it's not like it's not like a, a regular printer where you're uh, printing at zero degrees orientation. So what I have to do um, is change the orientation of this text field. So I select it and a rotation I just select 90 degrees and now it's going to show it in a side I guess you could call it sideways fashion what the coin title field shows is it shows the year mint mark and variety of the of the coin which is an easy way to show all that information instead of having to select uh, or add like three separate fields on a report so I've done that now what I need to do is create the barcode field what I want is a barcode of the coin catalog number the first catalog number of the coin and now to do this I'm going to select insert barcode and I'll just define the uh, dimensions of the barcode now what I want to do is select formula and click edit 
and coin manage has a barcode function it's called barcode and what you do is you just select the barcode you tell it what coin manage field you want the barcode to be of and what the form format of the barcode is what type of barcode there's many different types of barcode formats so I'll type in barcode and the first field is going to be coin dot catalog number one and the second field needs to be as you remember the type of barcode now this is a bit tricky because there's some uh, barcode formats for example UPC here they require a 14 digit field a text field and if the field is not 14 digits it's not going to generate a barcode so in most cases you're just going to use one of the more popular ones for example uh, code 39 is a reliable one it doesn't and it will put will basically convert any string into a barcode so I've got coin catalog number one code 39 click OK OK again and once again here I have to select the barcode field and change the rotation to 90 degrees I also want to show the text that uh, that's usually pretty handy when you when you see it on the barcode the printed out barcode so I've done all this and let me just save demo example name save now I'm going to exit the report designer and here I've got one Liberty captain uh, I think it's a yeah it's a one cent and it, under additional info I just put in a, a snow number I know this is not an authentic uh, snow number but I just put this in put this in for uh, identify just to, just for this demo and as you can see here the short description field that's basically what's going to show up in the title 1793 Liberty Cat one cent so what I can do is if I just want to generate a bark uh, label for a particular coin I can right click I first select the ones I want the labels generated from and right mouse click select print labels using demo example click OK let me just preview start and you can see here uh, I've got the barcode and the title of the coin now the, the dimensions are not correct uh, in many situations it depends on uh, several factors you, I would probably have to go back in and edit the dimensions of the label and uh, I'm gonna leave that to another video I think that's enough for now because basically I just want to show you this barcode function and how to get started with labels so uh, hopefully that's a good start for you. Thanks for watching as always. Take care and goodbye.